Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my two subscribers. I'm so grateful for you all. Today we're going to begin working on our crochet for the weekend. We're going to use a 5mm hook, some stitch markers, and a yarn needle. So I've chosen this Caron Colorama Bamboo Blend. Let me go ahead and pull my camera up just a little bit. So you can see this beautiful yarn. And it's a, again, Caron Colorama Bamboo Blend. It uses a 5mm hook. It is a Category 4 yarn. So you can use any yarn that you want. Just make sure that it is a Category 4 and you're using a 5mm hook. All my tools will be used that I'm using will be in the description box below. This is an awesome yarn. It is so nice and soft and I love, love the color. It is a berry red. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 12 and you chain whatever amount you need to chain for your size. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So this is our foundation row. Go ahead and skip that first chain and go into your next stitch with a single crochet. Now, once you've made your single crochet, go ahead and skip another two stitches, two chains, and go into the next stitch with a double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet into the same stitch, which is basically your V-stitch. Now, once you've made your V-stitch, go ahead and skip another two chains. And then in the next chain, make a single crochet. So now you just continue this pattern all the way across until you get closer to the end. Once you get closer to the end, you will have a few stitches left. Go ahead and skip another two. And then make another V stitch in that single crochet. So once you've chained three, go back into that same stitch with another double crochet. This is when you're at the end of the row. So you should end with a V stitch at the end of the row or right before the end of the row. I'm sorry. And then in your last stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And this is the same for any amount of chains that you make, whatever size it is you're making. That's for any amount of chains. So now, because we're going, this is just our foundation row, we're going to repeat rows two and three. We're going to chain five because we ended with a single crochet. Go ahead and chain five and turn your work. So once you've made your chain five, go ahead right into that first three chain space. You're going to skip that first stitch, that first single crochet. And go into the next three chain space with a single crochet. So basically you're making a V-stitch, uh, making a single crochet in each of your V-stitches. So once you've made that single crochet, go ahead and yarn over. And go into your next single crochet from the previous row with a V-stitch. So right there into that single crochet that you made in your previous row go ahead and make your double crochet chain three and another double crochet into the same stitch so in each of your single crochets you will make a v-stitch in each of your three chain spaces you will make a single crochet so after you've made your v-stitch go ahead right over into your three chain space and make a single crochet and you just repeat this all the way across until you get to the end of your row. Remember, you're going to make more chains than I'm making here, depending on the size. So because we made chain five at the end of the row, at the beginning of the row, when you get to the end of the row to your last chain, you made your last V-stitch, you made your last single crochet into that V-stitch, go ahead and chain two. And then right into that single crochet from the previous row, you're going to make a double crochet. Not a single crochet, a double crochet. So you chain two and make a double crochet into the last stitch. 
That's how you know when to make your double crochet in the last stitch because you had a chain five at the beginning of the row. So you're just going to repeat these rows. I mean, not the first row, but the second row. We're going into our third row now. So you're just going to chain one and turn your work into the next single crochet. So let's do that. So now we've already chained one and turned our work. Now we're going to go right into that first stitch with a single crochet. Don't skip anything. Go into your next single crochet from the previous row with a double crochet. Chain three. And another double crochet into the same stitch. Now once you've made that V stitch, go ahead and make another single crochet into the next three chain space. And just repeat that all the way across. Again, I have a shorter version, so you won't be quite at the end yet. But once you get to the end, your last stitch should be a V stitch, which is a single, a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet into the same stitch. Remember, yours is going to be much longer. So once you've made that last V stitch of the row, Go ahead into the fourth chain in the bottom of this five chain and make a single crochet. You'll know you have to do this because in the beginning of your row, you made a single crochet. So just repeat rows two and three going back and forth between each of your rows. You're just going to keep repeating until you have a certain amount of rows. So when you get to the end of your row, again, because we made a single crochet, you're going to chain five and turn your work. So we're now repeating row two. So once you make your chain, go right into that three chain space with a single crochet. Sorry about that. My cord kept getting in the way. And now in your next stitch, yarn over and make your V stitch into that next single crochet from the previous row. Chain three. And go back into the same stitch with another double crochet. So continue repeating rows two and three all the way across. Okay, so I'm back and I have my 17 rows here. It might not look like it, but it's just because of the type of yarn that I'm using. If you look over to your left, you will see the amount of rows that you should have. We're going to count from the bottom. We've already flipped our work, so the wrong side should be facing you. You're going to count each of your V-stitches. So you should have 17 V-stitches. So count from the first one. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I made a bit of a booboo here. Once you've skipped all of your V-stitches, go into the next stitch with your hook. Go ahead and slip stitch into that next stitch. Chain one and make a single crochet. So remember when you count out the number of V-stitches that you have to skip, go into the next V-stitch with your hook. Go right into that next stitch with a V-stitch, which is your double crochet. Chain three, double crochet into that single crochet. Now you're going to single crochet into the next chain space, into the next V stitch. So remember, just like we were doing the body, you're going to single crochet into the, the V stitch and you're going to make a V stitch into the single crochet from the previous row. So you make however many stitches you need to make across and then you will, then we're going to turn our work and make row two because now we're just going back and forth until we have the desired amount of rows. And remember, look here on the left to make sure you have this, the right amount of rows. So I'm going to keep going and I'll meet you at the end. Sorry, I was already at the end. <laughs> I had a rough night last night. Anyway, so now we're going to continue on. We're going to move on to our row two, and which is going to make our chain and then turn our work by stitch. So let's do that. So go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work. 
now we're going to go ahead and keep going until we reach the end of the row and just follow your pattern along and I'm going to meet you there. So I'm going to show you what to do first. Once you've made your five chains, turn your work and then you're going to single crochet in the next three chain space. And that is your V-stitch. So make your single crochet and then go into your next stitch, which is a single crochet and make your V-stitch, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, all in that same stitch and then single crochet in the next three chain space. And you're just going to repeat that until you get all the way to the end of your row. So your next stitch, you make another V-stitch. And then go into that three chain space, which is your V-stitch, and make a single crochet. So continue making those stitches all the way across. And then um, I'm going to keep going back and forth. And remember, you're going to make it for as many rows as the pattern says to. And then we'll continue on from there. Um, if you get lost or confused, just roll back just a little bit till you get to row one and go ahead and start over again. But I'm going to continue with my stitches, making my V stitches and my single crochets. And I will be back to show you what to do from there. And make sure that you do both panels. You want to do this for both sides of your work. What you do for one panel, you must do for the other. So I'm going to continue this. And I will be back. Okay, so now we're going to chain two and make that one double crochet into that last single crochet of the row. So now you're just going to repeat rows two and three. We're going into row three now. These are our repeat rows. So chain one and turn your work. Now go right into that first stitch and make a single crochet. And then make your V-stitch into that next single crochet. Double crochet, chain three and double crochet. And then double and then single crochet, excuse me, into the next V-stitch. And just do this all the way across. Same thing as row, well, row three. <laughs> and then you, when you get to the end, you're going to repeat. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on that pineapple strip. And this is for all sizes. So you're going to leave a 40 inch tail because we need to be able to weave in everything together. I just pulled some yarn until I felt like it was long enough. I can't seem to find my measuring tape. So go ahead and make your 40 inch, 40 inches tail. And then from there, we're going to chain 19. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our slip knot <clears throat> and make our chain of 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. When I come back, I'll have nineteen. Okay, so I have my nineteen chains here. So again, go ahead and go in and skip the first three chains. One, two, three. And in that fourth chain, go ahead and make one double crochet. Once you've made your double crochet, go ahead and chain five, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to skip the next five chains. One, two, two three, four, five. And then in that sixth chain, you're going to make a single crochet. So count five, three, four, five. And in your sixth stitch, your sixth chain, make a single crochet. Then chain three. One, two, and three. Once you've made your chain three, 
go ahead and skip two single crochets. I'm going to bring the book into the camera here. So once you've chained three, go ahead and skip two chains and then single crochet. Skip two chains and then single crochet into that third chain. Once you've made your single crochet, go ahead and chain five. So now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. You should have one stitch left. And now you're going to go into that stitch, that last um, chain with three double crochets. And this is how the pattern is throughout. On each side, you're going to have three double crochet in the beginning and in the end. You will always have three double crochets. So that's one. This is two, and three. So now we're going to move on to our next row. This is what she's looking like so far. You want to keep making, I mean, make those stitches all the way across. When you come to the end, you should have 21 stitches. Make sure that you put two double crochets in that first stitch there. I did not do that, but when I come back, I'll have it fixed. So now I fixed that part. Now you're going to chain three. And we're going to move on to row two. So we've already chained three. Go ahead and turn your work. So now continuing with our row two, chain three, turn your work, two double crochets into that same stitch. Now because that chain three counts as a double crochet, normally we would skip that first stitch. But because this is a cluster, we're going to go ahead and put two more double crochets into that end stitch there. I'm too high on the camera, that's why I brought my words down, but it'll flip in a moment. Make your two double crochets into that same stitch. Chain four. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And then double crochet in the five in the five chain space that you made from the previous row. And once you've made your double crochet, oops, my yarn is splitting. Go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then double crochet into the next five chain space. So you're going to skip that three chain space in the middle and go right into that five chain space on the other side with a double crochet. And now you're going to make three double crochets into the last stitch. So go all the way over. Do not chain and go into that chain three space in the previous row in that top stitch, the top chain, and make your double crochet. And this is row two. That's my second double crochet and my last. Okay. So now this is what it should look like so far. You can adjust your double crochets over there in the middle. In the middle, just move them over to the side, you know, straighten it out just a little bit. It should slide over nice and easy until you get it the way that you want it. Okay, so now let's go ahead on and we're going to go into row forward stitches. 
So now go ahead and chain three. And as I said before, you will always chain three. That chain three counts as your double crochet. So chain three and turn your work. Once you've turned your work, go ahead and make two double crochets into the same stitch. Remember that chain counts as a double crochet. So you will immediately go right into that next single crochet with two double crochets to make it three. There's one and there's two. So now we're going to go into that middle stitch there, that chain five space, and we're going to make nine triple crochets. So to make your triple crochet, you're going to yarn over twice and then go right into that five chain space with your nine triple crochets. I'm just trying to get myself adjusted here. My yarn is kind of flimsy, so I have to be kind of rough with it. So go ahead and make your triple crochet yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and that's your triple crochet. So you're going to make nine of those triple crochet, yarn over twice, go back into that five chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to speed this up because it can get pretty tedious. So make your nine triple crochets. Remember to yarn over twice. Then you're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. So I'm going to speed up and I'll be right back. So yarn over just one time. We're doing a double crochet. Go into the top of that three chain space with your three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. So just continue making your stitches all the way across. Well, we're already at the end. What am I talking about? <laughs> So now this is row three. We're done with row three. And you'll always know you're at row three because you're going to be doing those nine triple crochets in that five chain space. So now we're going to move on to row four. Go ahead and chain three and turn your work. Now you're going to make your two double crochets into that same stitch just like always. right into that first stitch. Do not skip that first stitch. Here's your first double crochet and your second double crochet. Now you're going to chain one and skip two stitches and make a single crochet into that first triple crochet. So skip those two after you make your two double crochets and then go in with a single crochet. Once you've made your single crochet, go ahead and chain three. You're going to repeat this process all the way across. So that's three chains. Skip your next stitch. Go into the next stitch with another single crochet and chain three. You're going to repeat this four times. So now once you've changed, made your chain three, skip one, go into the next stitch with a single crochet and chain three. Again, skip one, go into the next stitch with a single crochet Let me do that one more time. Go in with your single crochet. And chain three again. And one more stitch. Skip one. And go into that last triple crochet with a single crochet. 
and chain one because that's what we did in the beginning. We chained one first and then we started our stitches. So now skip those next two stitches and go into that chain space, that top stitch of that chain and make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. So that is row four. So now we're going to go ahead and move over to row five. Just remember to make your three double crochets on each end. Okay, so now we're going into row five of our pineapple panel. Go ahead and chain three and turn your work. Again, make your two double crochets into that first stitch. Your chain three counts as a double crochet. There's my second one. Now chain two. And single crochet into the next three chain space. So you're going to do that for each of these three chain spaces. So make your single crochet. Chain three. One, two. Chain three. Make sure you chain three. And go into that next three chain space with a single crochet. Chain three again. Make another single crochet into the next three chain space. Chain three again. One, two, three. And go into the next stitch with a single crochet. Now again, just like we did in the beginning, go ahead and chain two. And make three double crochets into your last stitch. Just go right over to that third chain, that chain, go right into the top of that chain with a, with three double crochets. Now, anytime you feel like you're getting lost, you can pause and read the words off of the screen. I'm doing that so that you can stick with me and follow along and always make sure you can pause to pause if I'm going too fast. So this is what she looks like. This is row five. Now we're going to move on. Everything is nice and even as long as you have those three double crochets on each side. Okay, so let's finish our panel. Now we're in row six. So chain three, turn your work and make two double crochets into the same stitch. And once you've made your two double crochets, go ahead and chain three. And single crochet into the next chain space. So chain three. And then single crochet into the next three chain space. And as you're doing this, it's beginning to increase. Chain three and then single crochet into the next three chain, three, three chain space, chain three, and then three double crochet. I mean, one more, sorry, <laughs> one more single crochet into that final three chain space. And so when you're done, you're going to chain three. Make sure that you are chaining three. Whatever you do on one side, you must do on the other side. So we started off with three and we're going to end with three. So now I'm about to make um, a mistake because I did not chain three. Just like I did in the beginning of the well. So I'm going to make these three chains, these three single cro double crochets. And now we have row six. 
Now, I'm about to realize that I did not make my chain two because if you do row six wrong and you don't put the right amount of stitches, row seven won't work. <laughs> so I'm going to fix this really quickly. I'm going to just take it out just up until the point where I need to make my three chains. And so see now on the other side, I have my three double crochets and my chain three. Now, I promise you, it does not say that in the book. The, it says it in the beginning, but it does not say it in the end. So go ahead and chain three. And then go into that stitch with your three double crochets. This is row six. So you want to make sure that you get those rows correct. And my final double crochet here. And now that looks so much better. You see the gap there? That's where that gap is supposed to be. Because in row seven, that gap, you're going to you're gonna skip that first gap there. You're going to skip those gaps on the side. So you want to have those three chains in order for it to work properly. So go ahead and make your three double crochets. Remember that chain three and then your two extra double crochets. Chain four. And then go right. You're going to skip this three chain space here and go into the next three chain space with a single crochet. So now once you've made your single crochet, go ahead and chain three. And then go into that next single crochet of the next three chain space with a single crochet. Once you've made your single crochet, go ahead and chain five, two, three, four, five. And now go all the way over to that last double crochet, that chain from the previous row. Go into that top chain and that first chain and make your three double crochets. One. Two and three. And that's row seven. So now you're just going to repeat rows two through seven. Your first row is your foundation row. You, so continue making your rows here. And this is the end of our tutorial. When I come back in part two, we are going to assemble everything together. So I just wanted to show you what that pineapple strip looks like. And I have my stitch markers here so that I can count the rows. It makes it a lot easier. Every triple crochet row is a third row. So we just go from there. Um, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tai Handmade Crochet. And come back when I have for our next video, which is our assembly video.